Family and friends, your presence is welcome here on this glorious day in this absolutely beautiful location. It is the perfect backdrop for the marriage of these two beautiful soulmates, Carla and Chris. We all know they love each other to pieces but they are definitely not the types to shout about it from the rooftop. To them, it doesn't matter where in the world they are, here in this stunning location, dressed to kill and surrounded by family and friends, or sat on the sofa watching TV in their trackies. They are, without doubt, happiest when they are together and surrounded by great people. this lovely couple? It is clear they are a couple who adore each other and really enjoy each other's company. They like to have fun, make each other laugh, and they love doing things together. They are without doubt a great team. six months apart on other sides of the world, they still managed to remain connected. A journey spent together over 10 years, spanning hundreds of dance shows, numerous football matches, and time spent living in Australia. Here we are today, where these two will become one. Katie, Carla, to put it simply, I just wouldn't be me without you. And he said, I'm not great at displaying or talking about my emotions, as you know, but I really hope I can show you today that you literally mean everything to me. Oh, that's actually really lovely. And look how I've written it. I would like to welcome you all to this celebration today. Some of us are local, some have travelled from other parts of the country, and some have travelled from other sides of the world. A remarkable effort, and it shows how highly these guys are regarded by us all. Mate, I look at you and see you are a confident, beautiful, caring young lady who your mum and me are so amazingly proud of. I would like to welcome Cash, sorry Chris, to our family. We were all so pleased when you proposed. However, I must admit, I was a little bit surprised when Carla accepted. She had always told me she was going to marry Frank Lampard. I think you are incredibly lucky, Chris, to land this lovely lady, and you are punching well above your weight. On a serious note, Chris, you're a top guy, but me and Trish trust 100% to love and care for our daughter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you all to raise your glasses and um, have a toast as I present to you Carla and Chris, Mr. and Mrs. Harris. upon the people here present. To witness the I, Christopher Stephen Harris. To witness the I, Christopher Stephen Harris. Take you, Carla Dallard. Take you, Carla Dallard. To be my legally wedded wife. To be my legally wedded wife. The one I will live with. The one I will live with. And laugh with. And laugh with. So that we may grow together forever. So that we may grow together forever. <laughs>
call upon the people here present. I call upon the people here present. To witness the I, Carla Dallard. To witness the I, Carla Dallard. Take you, Christopher Stephen Harris. Take you, Christopher Stephen Harris. To be my legally wedded husband. To be my legally wedded husband. The one I will live with. The one I will live with. The one I will laugh with. The one I will laugh with. So that we may grow together forever. So that we may grow together forever. Mrs. Harris, you look absolutely incredible. I'm now supposed to tell you how we met, how I impressed her and how we got together. So here comes the least romantic and at times not believable story you've probably ever heard at a wedding. Year seven, I'm in the corridor and two of my mates are shouting at me, number two. Anyway, after checking my blazer for bird shit, I carried on with my day. <laughs> I thought nothing of it, but a week later those shouts became number one. So anyway, I finally asked the lads what's what, and they said number one of Carla Dallard's fit list. The thing is, I didn't know who Carla Dallard was, or what a fit list is, but for a bloke that's not very good at running, I can tell you that I thought either number one was the worst, or she had very low standards. It turns out she had really low standards, because I believe two of the groomsmen that are here today were also on the list. <laughs> The fact is, I acted like I didn't care for all those years prior, but for the record, I knew exactly what route to take between lessons to accidentally bump into you. I did make sure you saw those stepovers, and I did always keep my phone credit hoping that I'd see my phone light up with a text from you. I can't tell you how much I love you. I've always said my favourite thing about us is how much we laugh and not a single day goes by without one of us crying with laughter at something the other has said or done. Your mates will back me up when I say you are one of the most loyal people you will ever wish to meet. You're always ready to help and support your favourite people with zero expectation or want for anything in return. Your energy and enthusiasm for life I admire so much and is infectious even for a bloke like me and I love you for how unapologetically you, you are. And now to quote the cheesiest line of the day, I've just married my best mate. I cannot wait to see what the rest of our lives have in store and I would now like to raise a toast to my beautiful wife. Yeah! To Mrs. Harris. You have already spent many years together and this marriage ceremony today is a way of declaring to the world how sure you are that you made the best choice, that your life together is wonderful, and now you want to cement it together with all these people that you love most to share it with you. I now present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Harris.